With the JAWS screen reader, we have the ability to perform OCR, or optical character recognition, right in the screen reader. In the past, we typically needed to use a third-party application like uh, OpenBook or Kurzweil 1000, and those are still good options, uh, provide a lot more um, features than what the JAWS OCR provides. So there will be times where those third-party uh, um, OCR solutions would make more sense. If you're looking though for just a quick OCR where you just have a document and you wanna quickly read it, then the OCR built into JAWS is a great option. Or if you're somebody or you have a student who's just getting into OCR, optical character recognition, and they're already using the JAWS screen reader, then starting out with this OCR solution is a good way to see if OCR is uh, appropriate for that student before you invest in Kurzweil. So there are a number of different devices that you can use in order to perform the OCR. JAWS will work with all typical flatbed scanners or all-in-one printers, and you can also use document cameras. But one of the popular ways, uh, popular devices that uh, Freedom Scientific sells is called the Pearl Document Camera. So right now we have it on the table and it is assembled. There are a number of uh, buttons on this device that will allow us to, to kind of break it down so that's more portable. So typically, typically if we start at the top here, hit a button, we can bring the top piece down and then down on the base, we can press another button and this is gonna bring the whole device down to the table. Then when we wanna use it again, just hit the button, bring the base up, come up to the top here, swing our top up. Now our camera, we can see, is pointing down at the table. So we can quickly get it up and running, plug it in via USB to our computer, we're ready to go. We have a piece of paper here that we're gonna test with. Getting this lined up, which can be difficult sometimes, is super easy with the pearl. All we need to do is just take the top or the eight and a half piece of our paper, so the thin part, and we can line it right up to this metal bar that's just about eight and a half inches as well. So as long as our paper is lined and pushed up against this bar, then we know that the camera is going to see the whole document and it'll make taking that picture very easy. Now we need to just do a few keystrokes with JAWS and able to, in order to capture that image. JAWS has put the OCR function inside of its JAWS layered command. Basically our JAWS layer command is our JAWS modifier key, so either caps lock or your insert key, depending on what you're using, with the space bar, and we'll kind of hear a noise. And then we're gonna use some follow-up keyboard letters in order to do different functions. So let's try a insert space, and we should hear our JAWS layer sound. Space followed by O for OCR, OCR. A, convenient OCR dialog, cameras and scanners combo box, Pearl one to one. And we heard convenient OCR, and then we heard a, that we're in a combo box with the available cameras that JAWS sees. We see the Pearl, so we'll simply hit our enter, and that'll take our picture. Enter, desktop, folder view, list view, vision connections, 11 to 14. There's our picture sound. It's going to do perform OCR, and immediately we get our results up on the screen here. A new window has popped up with our OCR uh, results, and now we can just use our normal JAWS reading commands uh, or any screen reader reading commands in order to read this document. So we can use our down arrow to move line by line. Technology creates possibility. SS. Vision forwards technology and education center. TEC features innovative technology in real life work, school and home environments. See first hands up. Assistive technology. And as we can hear, the, the uh, scanning results are quite good. One other thing that we can do here is that uh, if we're done with this document, we can simply hit our escape key. It'll close out this window and it's gone. But if we want to edit this document or if we want to save it, if we go down to the very end of our document here with a control end, Link open in Word, dot, dot, dot. we have a nice link right here that says open in Word. So simply hitting enter here will open this document up into Word, and so that now we can save this document or edit it and then save it as well.